Hi, Scorpios. Hello, hello, hello. This is going to be an exit to see if you guys are likely to come back together. This is for the 13th through the 19th. And uh, we're going to see what's going on for you guys. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Of course, the reading is not going to resonate for everyone. I wish it could. If it does resonate, please hit that like button. Share and um, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you need a personal reading, come see me at pinkarygym.com. If for some reason you can't access that site, you're welcome to email me and um, we'll get it going. All right. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio and their ex. How many Scorpio? I can't even cut these cards, guys. I feel like some of you are stuck to somebody like glue, feeling attached. Because I had a hard time separating my second and third stack. Okay, so the overall energy is a Knight of Swords, want to communicate, want to to like brush towards somebody and communicate. Okay. First card out, we have you with the Four of Wands. Wow. This Aries energy. I get right off the bat that some of you are interested in marrying someone. You have someone in mind. If you have not already asked, it's definitely on the brain. I feel that strongly for some of you. They have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person has been through the fire. Both of you guys have very fiery energy here. And that is, that's really indicative um, of um, Scorpio and Aries here. A lot of you are dealing with Aries. But this person has been through the ringer. Um, but I also get the impression that this is a good sign that this person is willing to, to bear whatever comes along with this relationship to reconnect. It's like they're in it for the long haul, I feel like. What you want? Wow, the Emperor. Another Aries card. This person is very strong willed. Very strong willed. Um, knows exactly what they want out of life. I don't get um, stubbornness from this person, but I do get there's a certain way that they like to do things, there's a certain way that they want things. Um, and they expect certain things from the person that they're with, the emperor here, male or female. Wow. Hmm. What they want is a Knight of Cups. Now keep in mind too, when I'm doing like the energies on either side, the energies can be vice, you know, reversed. So you take the reading how it resonates for you. You know your different situations here. This is Scorpio. This is Scorpio energy. So I feel like not only do you want them, they want you. I feel like they're trying to hold themselves back from overreacting, from overly expressing, you know, how much they you know, want to be with you and care about you here with the Knight of Cups. But this person, this person is in love. 
they have very romantic feelings. Um, there is there's a good amount of passion here as well, but there I think it's like it's a good mix going on here. Okay, what you need is the Knight of Coins, and that's to be slow. That's to be just make sure of your steps. You know, don't overreact. Um, this is a very stable knight. This knight knows that he's been through something in the past and he doesn't plan on repeating that. That's, that's who this knight is. Hmm. I, I like this. What they need is a king of cups. Having control of their emotions, being very loving and forthcoming with how they feel, but not overly doing it, one way or the other, positive or negative emotions, just being emotionally grounded and stable, you know. Hmm. I like it. Is anyone else involved? I feel like for the person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, there was somebody else. And I feel like when the lovers comes, there was a breakup at some point. And so I feel like there was a choice to be made and this person chooses you. It's just the way I feel. I feel strong Aries energy here. They may have Taurus or Gemini in their chart. Strongly, okay? Is there another person involved for you? No. I feel like you know this person's been hurt. This is what I feel. You have also been hurt. Because I feel like this is also, you know, this is an ex reading. So this is somebody from your past. But this person also has another ex. Um that they are they chose you over them at this point and i feel like you're just at this point not wanting to be hurt because you know of the, this your ex's other ex you're just not wanting to be hurt is this likely yes but I don't like the nine of swords here, but I feel like this is more of your energy because you, you are thinking about not allowing yourself to be hurt. Because I get the feeling that this person probably chose the other person in the past at some point. Get out of your head with this because this does not exist, okay? This is an overactive imagination. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. Because I see really good things here. I see good things happening for you and the person that you're thinking about, okay? So, that's the only card here that's bad. And it's all in your head. And so, let that go, Scorpio. Whatever happened in the past... Leave that shit back there, okay? Because you've got good things spawning for you, okay? You've got really good things spawning for you. All right, Scorpio, so that is your X reading for the 13th through the 19th, and I'll speak with you guys soon. Bye now.